Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my friend Luisa and I'm gonna show you how to do this 80s inspired makeup. Um, she always loved the 80s and that's why I transformed her in an 80s diva. So I started my tutorial by applying an orange concealer under the eyes and this is an orange one from Makeup Forever just to keep a little bit of warmth to the under eyes area. As a concealer I'm using one from MAC Studio Finish in uh, number NC20 and I'm gonna blend it with the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. And when I blend the concealer I also bring it down in a triangle shape so it gives it more light. And now, to give even more light to the under eyes area, I'm gonna apply a um, concealer from L'Oreal. This is Lumi Magique, and I'm gonna blend it together with the other concealers I applied before. I'm using a L'Oreal Too Match in the shade Beige and I'm applying it with the Real Techniques Stippling Brush. Ora che la mia base è finita la vado a fissare con una polvere uh, della Pennine nel colore banana e faccio un leggero strato di cipria proprio per non appesantire il volto e non dare questo effetto super opaco al viso. On the eyelids as a primer I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. To give more intensity to the eyeshadow I'm gonna apply later, I'm doing a base with um, a pencil. Um, this is a shimmery pencil from Bourgeois, Regard Fait Metallisé in number 54. I'm also gonna bring the pencil under the eyes and inside the waterline as well. from my slick palette, the original, this shimmery light blue eyeshadow and I'm, I'm gonna apply it on both eyelids, blending it a little bit upwards as well. To fix the pencil, I'm gonna bring the same eyeshadow also under the eyes. From my Manly eyeshadow palette I'm gonna take this shimmery purple eyeshadow with the bullet crease brush and I'm gonna apply into the crease and then I blend it with a blending brush. To reach the intensity of a bright color, I did about three layers of the same eyeshadow into the crease. Also keep blending it with a blending brush each layer you apply. from the 
same sleek palette I take this purple eyeshadow and I'm gonna concentrate it in the outer corner of the eyes and I'm gonna blend it with the blending brush towards the center under the brow bones I'm gonna apply vanilla from MAC To give more definition to the eyes, I'm going to apply a black pencil very close to the lashes and this is one from Bourjois. It doesn't need to be precise because we're going to blend it anyway. I'm also going to bring the pencil under the eyes, just concentrating in the outer part and stopping into the center. With the matte black eyeshadow, I'm gonna soften the pencil and blend it a little bit as well. I curl the lashes with my Shuemura eyelash curlers. And I'm applying a layer of um, L'Oreal False Lashes Architect 4D mascara on the top and bottom lashes. applying some false lashes from Amazing Shine. And it's time for the brows. After I comb them, I'm gonna fill them with this kind of taupey eyeshadow from my Sleek palette, the original. them again to put them in place and soften a little bit the eyeshadow. The cheeks I'm using an MUA blush in the color Marshmallow and I'm applying it with an Ila Masca blush up brush which is an amazing brush to apply blush on the top part of the cheeks and it really gives you a very precise and defined edge. <laughs> contour palette in the color medium I take the first color on the left and I'm gonna add some definition to the face so I'm applying it on the forehead into the temples and a little bit under the jawline <laughs> Take the highlighter in the center of the palette and I'm applying it on the top part of the cheeks, on the bridge of the nose and also on the cupid's bow. Now finishing with the lips, I'm using this amazing uh, fuchsia 
lipstick from Makeup Forever and I'm applying it with a brush. I'm not going to use a lip pencil because Luisa doesn't really like to see herself with a um, lip pencil. And it, without a pencil it really looks more natural. This is the finished look, very colourful and 80s and I don't know if you remember how Luisa was before, so that's her before and this is Luisa after. So I hope you liked the tutorial guys, as always give me a thumbs up, share the videos and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you to the next tutorial, bye bye! Special thanks to my friend for being my model.